So around. this weekend is Valentine's Day. It is. Right? Yeah. So I've asked you guys, how are you going to have a good... Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? You don't, because you're by yourself and you're going to yeah. live oh, and yeah. you're going to die alone. Oh. Um, <laughs> you've got a long-term girlfriend. I do. Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Is that a thing uh, you do? Reluctantly, yes. What do you mean reluctantly? Why? As in... He hates yeah, his girlfriend. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right, she might listen to this. Thing. <laughs> no, it's just it's obviously a thing to buy into, isn't it? And we we do do some. We'll go out for a meal, but we don't buy each other loads of presents or anything like that. See, so. I like to do like this is my first Valentine's with this current girlfriend. Okay, so the um, first one you kind of go overboard. But I, a little no, bit. no, I can't. And I'm not on like cruise. Um, <laughs> uh, I think you I, I, I like to like just do really cheesy things, right? Like really, oh, just really stupid. things things okay. like i buy like crap gifts like just I, i've Josh really love that. i've really misjudged this in the past as well with <laughs> other girlfriends where i'd be like oh yeah i got this really shit gift game and be like oh you've bought me an amazing gift that's really heartfelt so i've kind of with this uh, like peep show this this gift i've kind of gone like half half felt half rubbish I've, yeah. what do you mean it's entirely heartfelt I bought her it's a choo choo choose you <laughs> 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 like it's the card that ralph makes for lisa in um, in The Simpsons, but I so one. Let's just establish she likes The Simpsons. She loves Simpsons, yeah, almost as much as me, possibly. <laughs> um, and it's a it's a pretty good pillow, I think. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I really like it. Not See, the like, sort of pillow you have when your parents come around, though. Why? Wow. So what do you mean? <laughs> that's, that's kind of material. <laughs> You like saying it's like it's, a, it's not a pair of tits on it. Yeah. Like <laughs> no, I mean, There's a swastika a, on the back, but he's going to turn it when they come oh, around. It's yeah, a double sided though. So, oh, so is like it me. silly? Yeah, it's good. I don't, Pay I don't extra mind. for that. I'm um, sure she'll love it though. Okay, but what other things that we can watch or play on Valentine's Day to or have do, a good? Or do, or, or do. One of mine is do. Or do. Okay, Rory, you kick Actually, us off. Two then. of mine are do. Here we go. Um, so this is something really, really fun to do with your other half, which is um, you know, like. You have like cooking dates. Have you guys ever had like a cooking date? Mm-hmm. I'm aware with of a them. girl. You like plan something, cook something together. It's fun. Yeah. Have a little, you know, get a little silly, throw some flour at each other. It's romantic. It's adorable. <laughs> uh, there is a great YouTube channel called uh, Feast of Fiction. Feast of Fiction. Fe- Feast of Fiction. Okay. Essentially, what they do is um, they go like step by step on how to create some edibles from like pop culture, movies, and games. Ooh. Okay, that sounds cool. So basically, like some of the examples here are like um, the cake from Portal. Uh, Pokemon Rare Candy, nice. like this, you'll like this one, Princess Leia Cinnamon Buns. Oh, nice. Right on the side of your head, BB-8 cookies. There's loads of like cool things and stuff that appears in games cool. and how to make them. Boy, so, that's actually a good suggestion. A good I thought idea. you was going to be like, <laughs> fireworks! Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> Ride a cloud! Those, those, those are... <laughs> <laughs> ride a cloud. I don't know what goes on in your head. <laughs> That's a dumb idea. Ride a cloud. <laughs> don't ride a cloud. Um, um, all right. So that's, that's a great good. one. Pick some of your favorite snacks from your movies and games, and you know, yeah. have a fun time yeah. making them. Okay, I've put right Portal Two because I think that's uh, it's a really good game. Yeah, it's fu- it's, it's funny, romantic. and it's a really good. There's a two player element, but I'm not mm-hmm. talking about that way. Play the play the one player game. Because, <laughs> what? Because like it's really good to solve a puzzle together, like one puzzle together. Yeah. The two player is good. I don't think it's as funny though. And I think Stephen Merchant and Portal Two is one of the best things ever. He's Actually, yeah. everyone you're, likes. Portal you're totally 2. right because I was yeah. going to write Portal Two because it's one of my favorite co op yeah. games. But then the reason it didn't go on my list was because some of those puzzles when you get stuck and don't cheat you hacks uh, can get very frustrating and that's yeah, not exactly, exactly what yeah. you want but like yeah the single player story but if there's, if there's two game. of you playing it I think that's yeah. pretty good yeah well that kind of leads on to something that I've wrote and it's just okay. more of a general thing in which is so there's this great song on the internet I don't know if you guys listen to it I listened it's, to it earlier it's not great Dale what? <laughs> I thought it was a fantastic song anyway it's called two, it's been, I, when did I first hear it? I think it was on Podcast Beyond god knows okay. how many years ago it's called two player co-op player two press start and basically the whole theme of the song is about playing two players, but using it as a love story in right. all these games. And so that kind of leads on to about playing co-op games. Like you were going up, you were just about to save a portal and then you changed your mind on it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm into that. I just wasn't a fan of the song. Uh, just, uh, I, I think it's more because my girlfriend isn't into gaming at all. Right, okay. So, it's sort so you, of got this. A singer, you got a boombox outside her window no, with the player two song. <laughs> nice. winner, winner but over. this is something that I would like, in an ideal world, I would love to do. Just sit down, play a game, play a co-op game all day together. And I just think that would be great fun to but do. But I mean, I've also written down, so I've written Paul too, but I've also written Yarny as well, which I've been playing. Do you mean it's Unravel? Not, oh, yeah. <laughs> Call it Yarny. Or I, Untangled. I, I call it as Untangled. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. Um, I've been, yeah, I've been playing it. Unravel, and that's a really good one because it's quite cute and it's yeah. nice. It's got a really nice atmosphere and really, it's like 
watching a lovely, it's like a nice little experience. Yeah. But the puzzles are actually pretty hard. Um, so you can working, solve them together, working yeah. together, solving puzzles, and then doing it. Oh, yeah. After. Sounds sure, romantic. your That's little yeah. so, string. I've, I've written Until Dawn as well. That's another one. Um, <laughs> Because it, like you might get afraid and you can like jump into your loved one's that's, bosom. Yeah, that's for a new, <laughs> that's for a new relationship, I suppose. Bosom. When you when you're trying to lure him to a full sense of insecurity. Well, I don't do that. <laughs> you know what else will make your loved one jump into your bosom? What? Fireworks. <laughs> Set Riding them off in the bathroom before the date. <laughs> what else and ride you got? a cloud the hell out of there. What have you got? Um, this is one. I know we have a bit of a, a younger audience on the podcast as well. Okay. Not me, like younger than me, hopefully. Blimey. Um, yeah. So one of my fun ideas was, I'm going all American with this one, guys. Okay. Mm. If you guys are both into games, go to an arcade. Yeah. That's a fun idea. Maybe not for the night, but for like the day, go to an arcade. Just if you have like 20 pounds of yeah. like whatever, like change, just go to an arcade. There's like a whole bunch of games you can play. Air hockey, yeah. ski ball. Yeah, it depends on what like machines you're playing. Though, ones. Yeah, really. and like if you're... In mainland Ski-ball UK, there's a lot of really fun big arcades you can go yeah, to. Yeah. And like, you can have a lot of fun there. And Actually, then it's not, there's like quite fun and interactive. It's not just like sitting down in the yeah, house and like playing yeah. games together. Actually, like on one of like my girlfriend's birthday, we went to Brighton and we played a bunch of the games to get the tickets and we managed to get enough to we get a little Brighton mug. Cool. And every time I make her a cup of tea and that, she's like, oh, remember that? Exactly. And saying so that, we were um, we went to LA last year on Santa Monica Pier. Yeah. And uh, we were playing ski ball and air hockey and yeah, we had a great time. So exactly. I think it's a good suggestion. Yeah, that's really good. And I'm the one yeah. that's not in a relationship. Okay. And I'm whipping out the best suggestions here, guys. <laughs> You're Step whipping, it up. Just, that's better be all you whip out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so I've got two, well, four films, but three of them are a trilogy. So it's the four, Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, Before Midnight trilogy. The Before trilogy that okay. Richard Linklater has done. And I think are some of the best is probably some of the best like love story in film because it's right. so realistic um and it's not just you know guy meets a girl and they fall in love happily ever after that is far from it um, okay and i really really like that and also i think possibly one of sam mendes's best films is away we go uh, i just think it. it's such an amazing sort of love story again really realistic like really quite like hard to watch in places and it's basically about a young couple who um the wife is pregnant and they're trying to find a place to settle um so if you're like 30 years old uh like sounds really depressing it's 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 really sad in some places because you know they 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 don't they don't have a home it's about like basically you know that feeling when you're a bit older and you realize actually your home isn't your home anymore like because your parents you know have got their own lives now without you and you're actually you're starting your own life why do you want this on Valentine's <laughs> but Day? But it's good. You've it got ends, all this to come a, yet, Rory. It, it, it ends in a beautiful way, and it's got a really lovely soundtrack by Alexi Murdoch, and it's, I think it's probably, I reckon it would probably sneak into my top 10 films of all time. Oh, and it's got it's got Jim from the American Office in it, so oh, you'll, lo- you'll love it. Yeah. Um, and also, oh, I can name, oh, Maya Rudolph, um, okay. who's just hilariously funny as well. And it's a Sam Mendes film. Uh, which didn't get anywhere near the uh I will dig this film out. I want to amazing. see it. I, I'll bring it in for you, in Excellent. fact. Excellent, thank oh. you. Um, so you can watch it. You guys it. can have a little Valentine's Day day together. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Probably should see the girlfriend. No, 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 no. I'll be at the arcade, it's fine. <laughs> you, got anything, you, got, you got anything else for a good Valentine's uh, well, Day? Well, it's not necessarily a good Valentine's Day, but it's my Valentine's Day, and yeah. we are going to eat a fuck-off steak, and then we're going to watch Deadpool. <laughs> That's uh, a good one. Deadpool is being billed as a really good, like, yeah. fun film to go watch. And actually, there are some really good sort of love bits in here. It's a nice relationship film. Rory, what have you got? Anything else? No. No more clouds? No what more are you going to be doing on Sunday? What are you doing on Sunday? I don't know. Don't know yet. I didn't even know it was Sunday. I don't know. 